Okay, we're still talking about complex numbers and complex conjugates. And I want to do one more example with complex conjugates. I'm going to do another division problem. In this case, we have 3 plus 5i divided by 4 plus 2i. And the goal here is to do the division and get an answer in standard form, a plus bi form. And to do that, we need to multiply the top and the bottom by the complex conjugate of the bottom. So look at the denominator, 4 plus 2i. The conjugate of that is 4 minus 2i. So I'm going to multiply 4 minus 2i, multiply by this fraction, which is equal to 1. So I haven't changed my number. It's still going to have the same value, still going to be the same mathematical answer. Just multiplying it by 1 hasn't changed it. But by using the complex conjugate of the denominator, I'm going to cause all the imaginary parts to cancel out of the denominator. So we're going to be doing a FOIL here. So I'll put parentheses here to remind me that I'm multiplying these binomials. And let's think about the FOIL operation. We'll do the top first, first outer inner last. 3 times 4 gives me 12. And then 3 times minus 2i will give me a minus 6i. And then the inner, 5i times 4 is plus 20i. And then the last, I get 5i times negative 2i. That gives me negative 10i squared. Now the denominator. 4 times 4 is 16. And then the outer, I have 4 times minus 2i. That's minus 8i. And then I have 2i times 4, that's plus 8i. And then I have 2i times negative 2i, that's negative 4i squared. And we'll simplify this now. Let's look at the numerator. I have 12, and then I'll combine terms here. My minus 6i and plus 20i combine to give me a plus 14i. And then this is minus 10 times i squared. And the i squared, remember, is negative 1. OK, so that'll simplify some more. But let's look at the denominator. Look down here. The minus 8i and the plus 8i cancel each other out. And we're left with 16 minus 4i squared. And again, the i squared is negative 1. So let's simplify it a little bit further. I can combine this 12 and this minus negative 10. So that's 12 plus 10. That's 22. So I have 22 plus 14i up top. And on the bottom, I have 16 plus 4, or 20. And I can simplify this one step further just by dividing everything by 2. This is going to equal 11 plus 7i over 10. And if you want to put it in standard form, you could write 11 tenths plus 7 tenths i. Just split this up into two fractions. And again, most people would take this or this as an answer. But if you're specifically told to write your answer in standard form, you want to write it like this. This is a plus bi form. A, in this case, is 11 tenths. B is 7 tenths. So the point here, complex conjugates allow us to do a division problem and allow us to get all the imaginary parts out of the denominator so that we can express our final answer in standard form.